I just filmed the whole intro to the vlog oh, with the microphone off. Fuck! Um, so apparently I just filmed that whole intro with the microphone off. Um, right now me and my friends are in the Pine Barrens where the Jersey Devil supposedly lives filming our new Halloween movie. If you want to fund us, fund the movie, link in the description to the Patreon. You could watch the behind the scenes, see what we were up to today, uh, and all the good stuff like that. But I had to refilm the intro because I didn't put the microphone on. On with the vlog. My first intro was 10 times better. So it just dawned on me that I lead a pretty crazy ass life. And I make YouTube videos. So why have I not been documenting it? I mean I have, but I choose like very, you know, specific things to share. Vacation things like concerts, something funny with a friend, but never the day to day. I never really showed the day to day. So last night I was out till midnight helping my buddy Halloween Dave set up for Halloween. Uh, Q in Halloween Dave's house now. Well, my monster from his slab began to rise and suddenly to my surprise, he did the match. He did the monster match. Crazy as shit, right? So, I was helping him set up for Halloween because everybody in town goes there and loves his display every year. And he's getting old. He says he's got, you know, back problems. So I offered to help him. I didn't think I'd be there till midnight, but nonetheless, I was. Then I had to wake up at 6 in the morning this morning to come to work and clean the ice cream machine. Now that's not something that I have to do, it's something that I offered to do. Kinda regret it. But hey, extra money is extra money. Now I work till 4, so 6 to 4 p.m., 6 a.m. to 4 p.m. Then I'm going back to Halloween Dave's house to help him some more. Then after I finish the Halloween Dave's house, I am, well, why don't I just show you? What's up, Dave? Still got Reagan. He's got to come out the brides and grooms. Another one of these guys, two of these guys. Crypt Keeper, all the brides and grooms. Look at all the brides and grooms I got here. Look at all that stuff. That's all got to come out. A lot of this stuff has to come out. Jesus Christ. <laughs> you don't realize what, you know, I, it looks like it's all done. And people say it looks great, you know. But yeah, but if you're, you're... I'm still, I'm, I'm probably about 75 to 80% done. Seven, I'm going to say 75, which is fantastic. <laughs> I got done at work like three hours ago. I've been here helping Halloween Dave decorate, setting up his display for the 2020 Halloween season. From here, I am going to shoot my movie, but I'm still gonna help Dave for another hour or so. But you see what I mean? I never freaking stop. I think it's unhealthy. All right, I'm done at Dave's now. We just decorated the house like crazy. I left with a Dracula. And a zucchini bread. He's a uh, he's a great guy. He's a retired vet, divorced. He's single, and he does this Halloween for the town. People love him. He's all over TikTok. I'm lucky enough to help him, so I do what I can. Now I am pretty much late for my own movie shoot, but it is what it is. <laughs> Have you ever turned Look at anyone? that full moon. I forgot I was vlogging today for a second. So I've been vlogging since yeah. like six in the morning. 
I'm trying to document my day. You're killing me with that blue light. <laughs> Trying to document my day. I told you I live a pretty crazy life. I have been nonstop since six in the morning when I went to work. And then from work, I worked till four. Then I went to Halloween Dave's. You just saw that. Now I'm here with the twins in this abandoned parking lot. Yeah. There's a cemetery right over there. There's another cemetery over there. We're on Elm Street, actually, filming our horror movie for Halloween this season. I told you my life's pretty freaking crazy. It's like midnight right now. And then I have to be up at 6 o'clock tomorrow to go to my TV internship. Internship. I have an internship at a TV studio. I don't think I told you guys that. Maybe I'll vlog there. I don't know. That guy was sus. Really I thought was. he was going to... I thought it was like a cop at first because I was like, why is he pulling up over he here? Like, Alright, we got to film this and get the frick out of here, dude. It's 12.30, in the middle of the night right now. I have to be up in five hours, give or take, and go to the TV internship. But this, this is why, this is why people complaining that they don't have enough time is one of my biggest pet peeves, because if you're really passionate about something, or you really love to do something, you are going to find time to do it. There is 24 hours in the day, and it's your job to utilize all 24 of those hours. And me personally, I try and utilize all 24 hours. I mean, sleep when you're dead. Am I right? I don't know. Maybe not. All right, it's 6.17 the next morning. I'm on my way to the TV internship. And then from here, I go straight to work at Annie Ann's until 9.30 at night. I know sometime this weekend, I gotta find time to have an end of summer barbecue with my friends. I try and find some time to have a social life. So we'll see where that fits in this weekend. But I don't think I can film at this TV internship. So jump cut to the barbecue. What are, she's getting hot dogs? Today is August 23rd, 2022. Today, we are having an end of summer barbecue. It's so good though. Homegrown. Look at that. Come on. That's pretty good for homegrown. What do you say that's pretty good for homegrown? popsicles today a little bit of tajin tajin yeah it's like this like lime seasoning i don't know it's really good though put it on the mango popsicle you can also use mike's hot honey what very good hot sauce on a mango popsicle what? it's not really, it's not hot, really hot sauce it's like a seasoning look at this girl let me and get that get that close up it's too good oh my no. god no, she licked it. She literally licked it. Oh so good. Oh. So good. How many calories are this? <laughs> well, wait a minute. 70. See, there's like an aftertaste. Like at it's first, it good. was like it was like boom, and then it was like 
Mm -hmm. Mango. Yeah. yeah I think it's really good. Get into it. Ready for a good summer? It's a very good summer, 2022. Jules, I'm speaking right now. You made me lose my train of thought. I'd like to thank everybody for a successful barbecue. <laughs> successful barbecue. Um, thank you. I want to thank you for good friends, good times, good memories. For watching the vlog, for subscribing, for liking. And uh, I'm going to pretend to take a sip for you. All right. Thank you. <laughs> vlog over. That was like the worst one yet. Let's no. fix it. Vlog over. It's vlog it's over. <laughs> So good quality, it actually makes you look pretty. Oh, I'm kidding. Oh wait, that's not the painting. Holy shit, it even works on the coal. I'm already glowing. <laughs> it's a ghost. Five stars. Oh, you need some moonlight? I got you. And don't forget about Tallulah.